years ago, I designed a garden for Mary Berry, a keen gardener, but also someone who is extremely busy. Mary Berry is one of Britain's best known cooks. She has published more than 75 cookery books and hosted several television series for the BBC and Thames Television. She became a household name when she was a judge on the television programme, The Great British Bake Off, until 2016, being especially liked for her likeable, totally non-aggressive judging style, packed with helpful hints. Surprisingly, I learned her nickname as a child was Scruffy. Well, that certainly does not apply now. She always looks immaculate and is a very snazzy dresser. Mary is also a passionate gardener. She had a large country garden until around 2018, when she downsized and moved to her current smaller garden. She is president of the National Garden Scheme, having opened her garden for over 20 years. She is also an ambassador for the Royal Horticultural Society. I first met Mary when I interviewed her for my gardening column in The Telegraph in 2014. We discovered we had the same school in common and the same headmistress, and we both spent hours waiting outside her door when we were sent to her for a punishment for our frequent misdemeanours. Later on, she asked me to help her design her new garden, and, as we always do, we got a survey and spent the day with her and her husband, drawing out and discussing proposals with tracing paper over the survey. She fed us on her magnificent lemon drizzle cake and other home-baked goodies. When we had all agreed on the design, we took it back to the office and drew it up for the contractors to build. Mary loves gardening. Rather like cooking, you can lose yourself in it, as although you do need to keep your mind on the job, it still allows you great constructive thinking time. All carried out in the fresh air, picking up on the soothing outdoor sounds while exercising and doing something highly creative. Her favourite plants are her beloved Chandos Beauty, a rose which is her top favourite hybrid tea. They are deadheaded and tended to perfection, although they are an easy, pretty disease-free flowering rose that has a long flowering period. Rosa Mary Berry rose is also grown a hybrid tea. Dahlias are also enjoyed, plus of course she grows a good range of veg in her kitchen garden. I gave her a myrtle plant that I had propagated, a plant that symbolises love and friendship and is used in oil royal brides bouquets, one of my favourite plants. To see more of Mary's new garden, see my YouTube video, Mary Berry's New Garden. And you may want to listen to my podcast, Bunny in the Garden with Mary Berry, where we chat about her life and garden and get great tips.